At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Liverpool taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. There aren't many better midfield fulcrums than Thiago. What sort of game do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, if they get any free kicks around the edge of the penalty area today, Derek, he is so dangerous. I know he's a good all-round player, but his ability at set plays could be the deciding factor today in what could be a tight game. And the contest begins. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And a look at the Chelsea starting eleven. Well, no central striker, but the two wide players will make a lot of runs from outside to in. And the withdrawn striker will look to make late runs into the box. So it's still a fairly attacking 4-4-2 system here. Oh, might be. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. by the keeper might give them a chance a massive sigh of relief in the end that was nearly very costly well he got lucky there that was a big mistake by the goalkeeper attacking possibilities for Chelsea chance to take the lead well somehow the goalkeeper got to it Let's see about the delivery. And a tidy tackle. And he has the measure of his man. And Kunku. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Liverpool have given it away. And Kunku. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Well, Klopp has to come up with a game plan. His side are struggling here. Well, as Liverpool get the ball moving again, how will they react? Jack Paul. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Element of... And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now let's see if they can level it up. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball. So penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. An opportunity to level matters. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, as you can see, the keeper dives one way and the ball goes down the middle. It's a very good penalty.
So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. A really good pass. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Now can they counter clinically? Madueke. Sterling has it. What can Chelsea do from this position? A fine reading of the situation. And a goal kick given. And pressing from the front. And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. Clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. Thiago. Gakpo. Had a chance to whip it in here. Must take the lead here. Oh, it's in! They're in front here. Now can they stay in front? Here we can see again just how well Salah did to get the cross into such a good area. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the ball is rolling again. Who won the score? What's going to happen next? Jackson. And he successfully got past him. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. And goes for goal! Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Salah. All that convincing defensively. Free kick to Chelsea. Nkunku. Just the challenge that was required. Jones. Opportunity it is, and the keeper to the rescue. Well, he takes some beating, that's for sure. It really is a top-class save. Playing it in, and dealt with it nicely. Curtis Jones. Here is Thiago. Thiago! And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Now can Liverpool use this corner to add to their advantage? And there's the delivery. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it.
delivering it. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. And the referee gets the second half going. Liverpool with the lead. Will they be able to hold on to it? And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Well, he's not happy, is he? He just needs to calm himself down here. And played the pass well. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. He'll have a go here! But the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. And Liverpool couldn't hang on to it. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. Safe, but still a chance. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Well, that was a very respectable effort from such a long way out. Well, he hits it cleanly, and it's a very good strike, but just not on target. Well, who would be a manager? Jurgen Klopp thought that would put his side in complete control of this game. It's certainly not over yet. Rhys James. Nkunku. Madueke. Good work from Liverpool to make sure possession changed hands. And he's broken free. And a goal! Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. So back underway at 3-1. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Thirty minutes left for play. Really closing him down. Liverpool doing well to win back possession. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, they couldn't quite use that break in the manner that they'd hoped. And he's hit it with authority! Well, we gave it the big build-up, but he didn't quite deliver on his promise. 
just wasn't going to give that ball away. Well, that's the end of that move for now. And Chelsea winning the ball again. A bit of running room now on the wing. Enzo Fernandez. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, managing to beat him. Well, I think fair to say, Stuart, not one for his personal scrapbook. Well, that's really wayward. His technique completely let him down there. No let up on the pressing front. Alexis McAllister. Jones. Diaz has a go and the goalkeeper's touch that was crucial Liverpool corner given and there's the delivery oh a really good header but the goalkeeper there's a cover up I'm trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. <laughs> Playing it in. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool on the offensive. Really getting stuck in. Gallagher. Jackson. Well, as we get close to full time, no two ways about it, Stuart. Liverpool bossing this one. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously. Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Oh, the poor ball and easy for the keeper. Plenty of support here. Oh, this is looking promising. Giving it a try, and quick thinking defensively. Well, not away properly. He'll have a go here. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Ball lost by Liverpool. Mudrik. Room to roam for Chelsea on the wing. He's given us away. Jones. Real chance. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, here we can see just how easily Salah goes beyond his marker. And Salah does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There was no stopping that. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game. But how does he change it? Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Nkunku. Oh, in with a chance! And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.
And now they prepare to walk together in anticipation of the trophy presentation. Well, it's now just beginning to sink in. They are the winners of this great cup. Any second now, they'll be able to hold it aloft. All congratulating each other, and rightly so. The sweet taste of success. And they don't want to let go of that trophy, do they? Absolutely not. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been brilliant throughout the tournament. Been a top-class performance from them and their fans. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time.